again doing the intermittent breakfast and uh, practically what it is is that you don't eat for 16 hours and then you are allowed to eat for eight hours um, I am on my way to go to the gym I'm gonna be uh, doing Zumba for about 55 minutes and um, I did want it to to film how the results to film if it's gonna work if it doesn't work um, I did watch a video actually a couple of videos on YouTube about people who are actually doing uh, this type of diet if you will and uh, they do get pretty good results uh, I will be working out about five times a week Zumba or walking something very um, well, I wouldn't say Zumba is low impact, but walking it, it is. And then I will be keeping track of my calorie count. I will be using my fitness pal. So yeah, today is day one. Um, early in the morning, well, not too early, but it is 9.18 in the morning. Um, my last meal every day, I want it to be at 7 o'clock. So that will put me uh, to eat breakfast at 11. So we'll see how that works. And, and yeah, that's day one. So far, I don't feel the pain. I'll let you know tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay, so this is me after Zumba. Um, yes, I'm red. I really worked out as hard as I could. And uh, yeah, this is day one. I'm eating breakfast at 11.20. I'm gonna have coffee, eggs with chorizo, and one tortilla. And then I decided to write my goals here. Hopefully that will keep me motivated. And uh, I'm gonna be working out five times a week. Um, and here I am going to keep track of my calories, my steps, and whatever exercise I'm doing. Um, again, this is just for me to see uh, the results to keep me motivated. Today is day two. I went to the gym this morning. I walked for an hour. For breakfast, I had oatmeal with coffee. And then for lunch, I had some chicken and potato mashed potatoes. I do know that I ate uh, less than a thousand calories today. Uh, the only bad thing about today is that I don't think I'm going to be able to to get the 10,000 steps even though I went and I walked for a whole hour. Uh, so that tells me that I am not a very active person. Um, right now I have, oof, I passed it, 6,175 steps, uh, and it is almost 10 o'clock. There is no way I'm going to get 4,000 steps more um, before bed, so I'm going to bump about that. I do have to change a few things. Uh, I don't think that walking is going to do it um, to make the 10,000 steps. So what I'm going to do tomorrow was supposed to be my day off. I am not going to take it off totally um, just because I didn't meet my goal. So tomorrow I might um, just play some, I don't know, a video game, a dancing video game and see how many steps I can make. And yeah, food wise, I'm doing great. Step wise, man, I didn't make it. But uh, that's okay. I'm still um, trying to figure this out. I did feel a little bit tired. Uh, I'm tired right now, and it's barely gonna be 10 o'clock. So we'll see what tomorrow looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a quick recap of uh, day three, which was yesterday. It was my day off. Uh, my calories, I kept them below a thousand calories a day. Um, the only thing that I'm struggling with is the steps, getting up to 10,000 steps. Um, 
even though I, you know, I'm active yesterday, I did laundry, I clean up around the house, and uh, went to the outlet mall to walk, walk around, and I also went to church, so I don't know. I only got to about 5,000 or so. And today is day four, and uh, breakfast, I'm not having any trouble um, eating at 11. Uh, but my last meal is at seven, so I'm usually um, I'm usually a little bit hungry before bed, and uh, but it's nothing that I cannot handle. It's fine. I'll just drink more and more and more water. Um, today I just got off the gym. I did a spinning class for 20 minutes. That class was painful. My feet hurt. Maybe it's because it's the first time, I don't know. And my butt is sore too from the seat. So I left, I I did it for 20 minutes and I was out. So what I did was that after that I went to do another 20 minutes of Zumba and then I'm on my way to do my errands. Uh, it is 10.02, I have not eaten any breakfast, just water and um, yeah I'll check with you I'll check in later okay so I'm checking in it is day I want to say day five I need to double check um, it is it is Tuesday today and I just got out of Zumba uh, it is 12 31 and I have not eaten breakfast yet um, because my class starts at 11 30 so at 11 is when I can eat and I don't want to be stuffed when I um, when I come and work out. Um, it was a good workout, so far so good. I am starting to feel uh, lighter. So I will be checking in on Friday. That's, uh, that is when, I, when my way in is. So yeah, so far so good. Hello, uh, here I am checking in. I'm about to do Zumba right now. It is Thursday. Um, it is 11.21. Now, um, yesterday was my day off. I did horrible with the steps. However, I kept my calories okay. Um, you know, I had, I ate I think 100, not 100, yeah right, 1,100 calories. So that's not too bad, but I did have a hard time yesterday. And uh, another thing that I did do today was to change my timing. Instead of eating at 11, I ate at 10. And my last meal is going to be at 6, just because it works better for me. Um, I do like to have something in my stomach before working out. If not, I feel kind of fainty, dizzy. So I decided to go ahead and change at this time. Tomorrow I will do my weigh in and check in. We'll see uh, how many pounds I have lost and um, if I've lost any volume. So yeah, I'm keeping up. We'll see uh, the results for week one tomorrow. Hello my friends and welcome back. I do wanna check in with you. So it has been officially a week. I took my measurements, I weighed in and uh, I lost four pounds in one week. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, how I keep track of everything. I have I had told you that I use my fitness pal and I also keep track of things on paper. That is just to keep me encouraged about my progress. Um, I do notice that I lost some weight on my face and uh, this is only week one. I have one more week to go and, um, and yeah, so let me go ahead and show you how I keep track of everything on my fitness pal. Okay, so this is my fitness pal and here you have the report that you want to see. Um, I started at 165 pounds, uh, yeah, right here. And I went ahead and entered it uh, the 24th. And then I went ahead and entered today's weight, which is the 29th. 
at 161 pounds and I really do like how it shows you how it shows you the um, uh, a graph okay and then here you can go ahead and see your measurements um, I decided to take my measurements because um, I didn't want to get discouraged if I didn't see you know any any weight loss if you will so um, I went ahead and just took my measurements and my measurement on my neck it stayed the same again it tells you here um, the 23rd it's uh, I was at 13 inches 0.6 and I was the same here now here you go to waist and I did notice a change here I went from 35.5 inches to just 35 so 0.5 inches less and then my hips uh, I was at 44.4 .4. I went down to 43.6 my arms left arm I started with 11.7 .7 inches right now I'm at 11 four inches not a lot of change there but it is weird because look at my right arm I started with 12.4 and now I'm at 12 this is the one I wanted to show you um, this is the calories consumed that is what I ate every single day okay I am not done logging in today's for Monday I went ahead and I consumed 947 868 on Tuesday, 999, so on and so forth. Here you see, and this is today. Okay, I'm not done logging in today. Hopefully, I can do it right now once I'm done vlogging. So, um, my fitness pal is a great, great feature if you want to keep track of your weight. So, so far, so good. Four pounds down and 16 pounds to go.